Only Keegan in the box. Johnson's run and shots, good save. Keegan! Delight and relief for Liverpool. And David Johnson, who came in today for Beckler, just underlines that when Liverpool bring players into the side, they always seem to do so with effect. That was a good run by him, the left foot shot beaten out by Rimmer, and Keegan, the super optimist, was on hand to make it 2-0 with 76 minutes gone. McDermott, he's got Keegan in the box, this is Keegan. Oh, is this it? What a magnificent goal! That's what the Geordie fans wanted. The inspiration from McDermott and the finish of Keegan. Magnificent ball by Terry McDermott. He needed hardly a second to look up and see that Keegan had started his run and he released the pass to perfection. Keegan took it round the goalkeeper Ray Mountford and slotted it home as easy as you please. Cormac. Little lad. Cormac. Keegan making the run and Cormac ran all the way for the return. 3 2. Cormac was running all the time in the inside left position. Keegan, who did all the spade work on the left flank, and then pulled it back to Cormac, who was able to dig it out between his feet. Watson's header. This is Baker. Keegan in space. Number three, surely. Yes. Keegan, who scored his first ever goal for Southampton against Birmingham at the Dell in August, puts the points beyond Birmingham's reach again. Baker, important in the build-up, when he played it through to Keegan, he was in so much space, Birmingham will wonder why he was completely unmarked, and Keegan finishes so well. Birmingham nil, Southampton winning this goal. Keegan, Beardsley, wobble! It's hit the post, and Keegan! He's done it! at the upright, Kevin Keegan has signed on with a goal. Keegan lucky to get that rebound off Webb. Toshak. Keegan! Well, that repays the compliment. It starts here with a little exchange of headers. Keegan lucky to get it, but he then gives a good ball out to Toshak, and Toshak shows that he knows how to play across. And Keegan... He was trying to invent something and organise something. Can't score direct. Keegan! He's done it! That tore its way through. And Liverpool's patience in taking that kick paid off. They waited until they were ready. The referee waited until the players were required distance away. And Keegan's shot was devastating. Played by Hughes to his right. And they almost had time there to close him down. But it's tore wide of the wall. And Jensen, the goalkeeper, hadn't got the gap covered. Mick Martin. Keegan, number four. What a marvellous goal. What a performance by Newcastle. Kevin Keegan say to McMartin he knocked it through like a knife through butter Keegan was on it like a flash and number four was in the back of the net through to Keegan 2-0 and Toshak threatened then but I think one of the East Germans touched the ball to Keegan It was Tommy Smith's cross, and I don't think Toshak touched it. It came off an East German right through to Keegan, who was so definite with his finish. 2-0, what Liverpool needed, because one goal is never enough. Toshak's head, and he's a net for Keegan! What a player this is! David Nish had his leg pop to kick that off the line, and in came Keegan. But his studs hooked in the net. It was 
see it again. There's the corner from Highway. There's the header, and in comes Keegan. Now finding Trevor Francis. Good floated cross to the far side there. Royal is right up there. Dave Watson in there. A little chip by him. Keegan! The goal England wanted. And Keegan, the captain, is the man who supplied it. Some 24 yards out. Slightly left of centre. Played there for Kevin Keegan and hit into the corner of the net. One nil to England. Halfway through the first half. Looking, looking up, considering that free kick. Plays it short there for Kevin Keegan. Rifling it through the wall and into the net. One nil to England. Martin came in to steal that for Arden. Keegan, is this a hat-trick? Kevin Keegan gets the hat-trick. And Newcastle lead 3-0. The Geordie fans go mad. Kevin Keegan doubles his goal total for Newcastle, three before today, and a hat-trick here this afternoon. Gives a hope to Mick Martin, the man who made it possible. Keegan through, a little dummy, a little shake, and beating Mountford easy as you please. Wall of noise which surrounded the players at San Etienne a fortnight ago. Keegan. Djokovic has missed it! off his line and it's one all on aggregate to Steve Coppel's persistence Keegan rookie breaking forward took the attention away from Keegan there's the one two and it's three one and the Scots defense sliced the ball George Wood buries his face in the Wembley turf in anguish but he was left with nothing he could possibly do as the defense parted there's Keegan. The one two with Brooking, the man he employed George playing with so well, perfectly played at the right pace by Brooking, and Scotland hadn't got a hope. Marvellous example of understanding, and Keegan through to make it 3 1. So another Southampton corner. Keegan's header! A splendid goal by Kevin Keegan. And the despairing leap by Whitworth on the line only forced the ball inevitably on into the net. 25 minutes gone, so simple again. The corner floated over from the right by Shannon. A wonderful flick header on the near post by Keegan directed towards the roof of the net. Whitworth could only help it in. Keegan's goal. Where also there, but it's played short this time for Callaghan. Flicked across there, first time! Oh, and Keegan, a wonderful goal! That completely caught Spurs out. The corner quickly taken. And it was really made by that quick centre by Callaghan. And Keegan, who snaps those up. Highway, taking it well on his body. And then sweeping past McDowell. Brilliantly there. Keegan, a superb goal. A superb goal for Liverpool. And the little man has done it again, Kevin Keegan. But he'd be the first to admit, as you can see, going across the highway, the tremendous contribution of highway with his pace and his accuracy of that cross when he went past McDowell, the pinpointed centre, and Keegan on the end of it. The uh, tackle by Richards could have given the advantage. Toshak across the box, and Keegan! It's 1-1! Well, that's how those two Liverpool front runners work together. 1-1. 15 minutes into the first half. The cross into the box. Toshak getting the touch square. Kevin Keegan, number seven. An unmissable chance.
Wilkins, Brooking. Neil wanting a bit of the action wide, but Brooking curling that in again towards Kevin Keegan! The England goal that we wanted, and Keegan is the scorer! Well, that is the start. Keegan, the scorer, beautifully taken with his head, outwitting the Italians in defence. What a cross by Brooking. What a sight for England beyond Dino's of 1-0.